All right, we're back, 838, highlighting a phase of parenting that is often overlooked. We're talking about how to parent adult children. Our dear, dear friend Maria Shriver sat down with the author of, of a new book out today to find out what you should know about navigating this complicated stage in life. Very important, parenting adult kids, Maria. That's right, and challenging. Good morning, everybody. Well, we have heard a lot about the terrible twos and the troublesome teens, but rarely do we discuss the issues that come up as our children enter adulthood, from dating to marriages to jobs to finances to buying homes. It can be a trying time for young adults and a really trying time for their parents. They're the questions the 65 million Americans with adult children often find themselves asking. Should I lend my 24-year-old money? Is it okay for my 27-year-old to move back home? How do I tell my 30-year-old I disapprove of their significant other? Those issues and more are tackled in Dr. Larry Steinberg's new book, You and Your Adult Child, How to Grow Together in Challenging Times. Why did you think this was needed out there? The idea really originated at AARP. So many of its members saying, help us. These challenges often surface as young people enter their 20s and 30s. For the now adult children, it's a new phase of development. For their moms and dads, a new chapter of parenthood. Thank you for having me back. After graduating from college, Dag Forsberg briefly moved back home with his mom, Wanda Wen, forcing them both to relearn how to live together. You want him to spread your wings, but he's in your house and you have rules. So how did that work? I think that, for me, I just tried to be more hands off mm -hmm. and not get in his space. Yeah, there was a lot of silence. While Wanda and Dag say silence eventually worked for them, Dr. Steinberg urges parents providing their adult children with housing or even financial assistance to set expectations right away. What you're saying with all of these things, talk about them at the front end. Right, and I, you know, I think when you have that conversation, the young adult child should be an active participant in shaping what the agreement is going to be. Steinberg says it has become more common for adult children to lean on their parents. That's because societal changes, an evolving workforce, and the rising cost of living have all complicated and even delayed this generation's timeline of adulthood. He estimates the time it takes today's young adults to go from graduating college to starting a family is five years longer than it took their parents. Are you saying in this book one of the things you want people to really take away is to stop saying, well, when I was your age, I... Right. Why is that so detrimental for a young adult to hear? The subtext is, well, when I was your age, I was so much further ahead than you are. And what I remind parents is, yes, you were their age at one point in time, but circumstances were very, very different. When 30-year-old Porter Tolkien's father, Jonathan, was her age, he was starting his family, and his career was well underway. By contrast, today Porter is happily single and recently decided to change her career path. I hear so many young people in their 20s and 30s who come over uh, and they say to me, always like, I always thought I'd be further along. Is that what you guys hear too? Definitely. Yeah. I think back to 20 year old me, and I know she would be so proud of 30 year old me, Aww. even though I don't have it figured out. Aww. It's a mess, but it's a fun mess. That fun mess presents a delicate dance for parents who are left to decide when to weigh in. Are you surprised at how long the parenting road is for you? You're always going to parent your kids as they age. You're basically saying that parents are best to not compare their life journey with their adult children, but to be really people with high EQs. Yes, I think parents can do it. And maybe this book can help both generations be a little bit more understanding and compassionate toward each other. 
And guys, another great takeaway from all of this, know when to bite your tongue. Steinberg offers this simple EQ check. If your child is about to make an irreparable mistake, then you should speak up. But if your issue is a matter of taste or opinion, you should probably keep it to yourself. And that's a big challenge for most parents who have been guiding uh, these kids for their entire lives. So you have to step back, be there, but be quiet. Wow. That probably that's works not for other relationships, too. Anyways, <laughs> might work for marriage as well. Yeah. Maria, great. Great, great, great. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. She's always I mean, full of wisdom, I that Maria. I swear, the yeah. wisest one. We love Thank you, Maria. Maria. Lost it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.